Hi, it's Monday. Welcome to another start of a weekly reading vlog. Lexi's leaving, so that sucks. So, but we had a lot of fun and I didn't like sleep at all this weekend. So, you know, it was good. Uh, that's it. Goodbye. All right. The plan for today is to finish Salem's Lot. I don't know if I can do that. I have a little over what <laughs> i have a little over 30 percent to read and it does read slow because it's such a long audiobook but hopefully i can finish it today i do have to start listening to stay awake again tonight because the live show is wednesday but i'm either gonna finish it today or i have sprints tomorrow and i'm gonna finish it tomorrow but i am liking it this is a story about a town <laughs> salem's lot and people are dying and they don't know why and then may or may not be coming back as vampires and that's like the whole gist of the book i will say it took over like 50 percent to get interesting which is how i feel about a lot of older stephen king not even older a lot of stephen king is the only one that like grabbed me from the very 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 beginning was 11 2263 and mr mercedes because they just like start action-packed so this one definitely didn't and i i need patience with some of his books and this is one but i am liking it so let's see how this goes it's tuesday i did not finish salem's lot i only made it 72 percent the thing is i'm not not liking it it's just so slow it's so slow <laughs> so it's not just it's just like not grabbing my attention like all of his other ones have i it's not a, gonna be a dnf but it's not like a priority book so and it's not a priority book today <laughs> because tomorrow is the live show for stay awake by megan golden i had all intentions of reading at least like 200 pages of this last night but instead i stayed on tiktok and watched vampire academy not even the new one just like the old movie on netflix so like i definitely am in a i was gonna say slut what a slump and that is just because of my mental health right now it's not the books it's me so i have to finish this one so i'm going to prioritize this today i have sprints today which definitely helped me read but like i have to finish this today i made it i don't think i ever talked about this book okay so i made it 100 pages into this this starts with a woman who wakes up and the last thing she remembers is something that happened to her over two years ago and she's trying to like re like get her life back together and everything has changed and she has all these words written all over her body about staying awake and not going to sleep and every time she goes to sleep she forgets everything that's ever happened to her and now there is someone who's been murdered and could she possibly have done it so this is a super cool concept i hate the audiobook which is a personal problem that's totally fine also i'm listening to it on scribd and i haven't listened to it since a week ago but apparently there are like complete issues with playback on scribd so i hope it works for me i didn't have any problems with it last time but people are having problems with scribd so we'll see how this goes i am enjoying it so far and i'm going to finish it maybe today we'll see i finished stay awake this is the first time i finished a book in like a week so that's great i'm gonna give it four stars i feel like this was really good but for some reason all of megan golden's books just aren't five stars for me i feel the same way about night swim like there's just like some weird things maybe it's her writing that isn't a full five stars but i absolutely really loved my time reading this so i'm gonna give it four stars i am gonna keep this i actually feel like this is something i would read again because it's like different timelines which i really liked but I'm really excited to talk about this book with Lexi and Monica and I'm excited to see what they think of it because I think this is, I don't know if it's my fa favorite that I read because I really liked Upgrade, but it's definitely up there and I feel like it's a good thriller. So I really like this one. And my like biggest thing is that, so the whole premise is that she falls asleep and she forgets like everything. And that was really repetitive because she falls asleep a lot. So like that, 
That was like it, but I really like this one. It's Tuesday night. I have two books that I have started and have not finished. And that is Salem's Lot and Winterwood. I honestly can't remember if I ever even talked about it. Anyway, but I'm not going to read any of those. I'm going to reread White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. I My book club is reading it for October. I read it like a year ago. So I would like to reread it and go in it knowing the ending and seeing if that like changes how I feel about it but I remember being like really creeped out about this last year so and I love Tiffany D. Jackson so I definitely am excited to reread it. Last time I gave it three stars and I was in my critical reading phase so let's see how I feel about it a year later. It's Wednesday. I'm sorry I didn't update last night. I was tired and I forgot and then I went and watched an episode of Dahmer, but I made it 55% into white smoke. Sorry, I don't have it. <laughs> um, but this is a story of Marigold and her family. She, her mom just got married to this new dude and she has a new stepsister and they move into this like renovated old house in this like very rundown neighborhood and things start happening in the house and they think it's haunted and there's like rumors around her school that it is haunted and some weird shit starts happening to her. So that is basically where I am. The first time I read this, I did not like the ending, but honestly rereading it makes me like it makes it scarier because I do know the ending. So I think that past Michelle was wrong in my rating. And that is because I was critically, critically reviewing back then. But honestly, I'm liking it better this time. I love Tiffany D. Jackson's writing. I know someone recently in my sprint comments was like, I hate how many times she says dude. But like, I think that's just how people talk so I mean that's how I talk sometimes so I am enjoying it more the second time I feel like last time I gave it three stars I feel like it could be a four star I don't think it's gonna be five um and that is because I always compare it to Monday's Not Coming and I haven't given Tiffany D. Jackson a five star since Monday's Not Coming like Monday's Not Coming is the top tier and I always like rank it based off of that and i haven't found one as good as monday's not coming but i did hear the weight of blood is really good and that's on my october tbr so yeah i know i said this two days ago but i am really trying to finish salem's lot today especially before hello weekend because i will probably be starting hello weekend a little bit early just because there aren't like no rules you're supposed to start it like thursday night and maybe i will but We'll see how this goes. Also, I don't know what I'm reading first. Casman's going to choose my first book and I will record that. But I'm on part three of, I assume, three of Salem's Lot. So this is 18%. I don't know. That's like five hours left of the audiobook and I listen at three times speed. So I could hopefully finish today. Hopefully that like that is my goal is to finish today. So let's go. I finished Salem's Lot, finally. I will say I really did like the beginning of Ben Mears going back to this like eerie little town and I really liked the ending, but I feel like I had such a hard time with this book because of the middle. And I feel like that with a lot of Stephen King's older stuff that like he just writes because he can and it doesn't really move the plot forward. And that's how I felt about Salem's Lot. I would like to see the movie. I am gonna keep this. I'll probably get a different edition because I would like to reread it one day. But overall, four stars. I thought this was really good. I don't think it's his best. I think in a lot of ways it's forgettable, but like now that I finished it, I feel like it was a good time. Okay, it's been a couple hours since I finished Salem's Lot. I am going to attempt to finish this today. I don't really know. I have a couple hours until we like start doing dinner and stuff. And then I have the live show for Stay Awake. But if I don't finish it tonight, I'll definitely finish it tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to take a break before I start Halloween again. So that's the plan. Hopefully finish this soon. Hello, I finished White Smoke. I think knowing the twist in this one... 
as reread helped and I'm gonna give it four stars last time I gave it three stars I will say I still think there is no like real ending I forgot that like I remembered the twist from last time but then it just like ends there's no like resolution and I would have really liked one I guess I kind of don't like an open ending with this one but otherwise it was a good time the audiobook is good and I think it's a good Y horror so four stars for this one it's Thursday I'm getting ready for Casman to do my first picks for Halloween the Pines audiobook is re it's a whole new uh, narrator so this doesn't come out until October 18th so I can't I can't read this but I can't read it without an audiobook so I can't do that yet and then I have the Luminous Dead on Hoopla but I ran out of credits until Saturday so can't read that yet so he's going to choose from three of my main picks and then three of my bonus prompts so hold on and I will film that okay these are my main book prompts. Which one? Cackle. This is Erin's pick. I am a little nervous about this. Did you pick it because of the cover? The title. Okay. Okay, these are the books for the bonus prompt. You can't see that, but that's They Never Learn. Go ahead. Is it because I just met him? <laughs> okay, so this weekend, I'll be reading two very short books. Here's my salt and pepper. I will be reading The Final Girls Support Group by Grady Hendrix. This is... Hold on. Is it signed? Yes, I see it now. This is signed, so that's super cool. And then I will be reading Cackle, which is Aaron's favorite so uh, these are the plans i will be doing cackle first since this is the main book prompt and then i will be ending with final girl support group so these are my plans for halloween hello it is the first night of halloween i am 76 pages into cackle by rachel harrison i don't i have i truly don't know what this is about like what's my hair doing hold on okay so nope still there so normally when i pick up a book especially one that has been like recommended i know at least something about it this one nothing witchy vibes maybe so basically annie has been dumped and needs a fresh start so she moves to rowan new york which i thought was cool because that's my son's name and she's living in this like cute little apartment and she meets sophie who is different older than her lives in this like huge mansion and that is kind of like all I've gotten to so far. This book seems so short but the audiobook is like 10 hours long which doesn't make sense in my brain so I don't know what's going on but I'm really liking this. It feels super cozy so far. I love this cover. This cover is what really like made my decision. This is Erin's pick. This is for the prompt of host favorite so 20-ish percent in. I'm liking it so far. It's definitely cozy. Some like creepy things have happened, but it's not like scary. So anyway, I'll let you know what this is about more when I know, but I'm liking it so far. We are chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> the chaos. <laughs> I'm just going to get shaky footing. No. I know. <laughs> oh my god, did I get Hello, it's Friday. I definitely forgot that I was vlogging and that's fine, but I did finish Cackle and I am going to give it five stars. This was just like so whimsical, so cozy, feminist, please, and witchy. So I really, really like this one. And then when we got to the part where why it's called Cackle, I just like laughed. I cackled as well. So absolutely recommend this one. This was Erin's recommendation and it was a good one. And I absolutely love this cover. Like this was obviously a cover buy and I am not mad about it. I will be keeping this. This is five stars. Absolutely recommend this one, especially if you're not looking for something to horror, to thriller. This is like right in the middle of whimsical 
contemporary horror. It's hard to describe, but I loved every second of this book. Five stars. Also, I'm not sure if I ever said this. Sorry, I'm trying to get better at vlogging. I've only been doing this for like half a year, but I buddy read this with my friend Becky and she gave it three stars and I think it's because she didn't like the main character and I ended up giving it five stars because although I didn't love the main character I don't base it off of characters alone just vibes and the vibes of this one were just really good for me so Becky's channel is linked down below definitely check her out okay I am starting the final girls <laughs> The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. This is the bonus prompt, an author you love. I have given both of the books that I've read by him five stars. So I have technically started this book about a year ago just on audio and it was, it did not work for me. So I am still doing the audio but also having it in front of my face, which hopefully will be better. I do know that I already don't like this audiobook narrator, but like, I gotta get over it. So I'm, I'm over it. And I will let you know what it's about when I remember what it's about. So I'll see you then. Okay. Are we saying anything? I'm just gonna wave. Oh, you can't even see my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I took it in my face. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's Saturday. I am so tired and I'm sorry if you can hear Rowan, but that's just my life. I'm 100 pages into the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. The thing I like most about Grady Hendrix is that all his books are so different. Like he doesn't really, like he stays in the horror genre, but like they're all just like completely different from one another. And this one definitely is different from both of the other ones I read. Here's my only thing though. I fucking hate this audiobook. Like... I understand that the narrator played a final girl in a movie and that is cool but it's not the right choice for a narrator and also I'm following along with the book and listening to it and the narrator just like com completely skips sentences for some reason so I don't understand but this is a book about final girls so real life final girls and movies were portrayed off of their lives instead of like them being fictionalized and our main character Lynette is concerned she's super paranoid because of what happened to her but she feels like people are coming after her and the other final girls in her support group and she's like kind of sort of on the run now and that is how far I've gotten into this. I hate the audiobook but like I like the story so I will be sticking with it. I previously DNF this book 32% in and I'm like 25% in now so like I'm not even to the point where I don't know what's going on anymore so like I'll keep you updated about this later on but my only gripe about it is the audiobook which you hear from me a lot so yeah. So I'm 50% into the Final Girl support group. I almost said the last Final Girl. Is that Grady Hendrix? Anyway, oh, mm, I am really liking it. I wish I weren't so dependent on audiobooks for reading because I feel like I could actually read this faster with my eyes. But first of all, I'm lazy and I really do depend on audiobooks, which is fine. Love audiobooks. And I'm so tired. Like, my eyes are tired. But I feel like... <laughs> Three times speed is too slow now and so i am like struggling listening it just feels so slow but i am really invested in the story like i don't think you're supposed to like the main character and i absolutely do not like her which is like great like it's i really don't like her so oh, oh god i would love to finish this today but i absolutely don't think i will so i'll probably finish it tomorrow morning and let you know i am on another sprint tonight so maybe i can get to 75 percent tonight but like i don't know obviously i would like to finish it tonight but i don't think i think that's gonna happen i finished the final girl the final girl support group i'm really tired mm. i'm gonna give it four stars i feel like this was really good but it just wasn't great like the other two books i've read by grady hendrix in my opinion have been great and this was good. So I'm going to give it four stars. I enjoyed my time reading it. Still didn't like the audiobook. What are you going to do? I really uh, was surprised who ended up being like the killer. I was on sprints and I just like my jaw dropped. And I was like, oh my god, I know I look so dumb right now. But I thought it was 
this was really good. So four stars for this. I will be keeping it, but I really liked it. So that officially ends my Halloween weekend TBR for this weekend. So that's great. Tomorrow is Sunday. I plan to start my first book for Black Weenathon, and that is going to be The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I also just met her. I have heard nothing but good things about The Weight of Blood, so going to do that tomorrow. There are still sprints for Halloween tomorrow, so I will be hopping on those, but I will be reading something for Black Queen, so I will see you tomorrow. I am over 100 pages into The Weight of Blood. I don't want to like jinx myself, but this already feels like a five star based on just the writing alone and then the story on top of it. But this follows Maddie and Maddie is Carrie basically. And she has a super overprotective father who is like, has ideals from the 50s and like the woman belongs in the kitchen and stuff. And he is passing her off as white even though she is not. And it all starts when like her hair gets wet and she has an afro and people are just now realizing in high school that she is black. So it's intense. The racism in this is intense. I was talking to Lexi about this, but I was like, if this wasn't set in high school, this could be an adult book like it is just that intense there is also another storyline of the segregated prom which i knew about <laughs> apparently that's something that still happens today in the south which just like boggles my mind personally so this is amazing so far but it's like it's so heavy too it's i don't know the audiobook however amazing there's a podcast feature and like when people are being interviewed you can hear like stuff in the background like you would a podcast and i just am absolutely loving this i i i'm definitely not going to finish it today but hopefully tomorrow um and this is my first book for black -a so absolutely loving this i definitely forgot to do an outro for this vlog so uh that's the end <laughs> oh no i will that i don't know what to say the end goodbye i read this week so that's good i am feeling better as well i just think i needed like a week off and stuff so if you made it to the end of this vlog please please leave me a ghost emoji and i'll see you in my next one bye mm -hmm.